hey guys welcome back to my channel how y'all doing i know i know i know y'all like brie you missed the content i know but i had to do what i had to do it seems like about like friday evening all the things that were going wrong with my channel were suddenly fixed like i've been monitoring since last sunday and it finally seems to have gotten back together and i was like okay i think i am good to go so today we are back with what i feel like is kind of an anticipated video because y'all have been like we we need the details on this collection so today we are going to be using the new curl origin honey and hibiscus collection so <laughs> hi baby <laughs> Ellie is sitting next to me being cute and sweet and chunky. <laughs> so I picked up four products from the collection. I didn't pick these up during a sale or anything. You guys know that like she sent it and Curl Origin are brands that like if I really want it, I will pay full price for it because I feel like the way that the products work for my hair, like it's worth the coin for me. So I really wanted to get my hands on the collection. And I got four products. We will only be using three today. So if you are interested in seeing my first impressions on this cute collection, then just keep watching. Of course, we're going to start off with the Honey and Hibiscus More Moisture Please Deep Conditioner for Mega Moisture. And it is a nice light pink color. And the texture is divine. Formulated for dry, kinky, Curly and coily hair. This rich hair mask is infused with a generous amount of honey to instantly hydrate thirsty strands. It deeply penetrates the hair shaft to restore lost moisture and elasticity to hair. Curls will be left soft, shiny, and hydrated. The first five ingredients on this are water infused with marshmallow extract, BTMS, cedar alcohol, meal honey, and hibiscus extract. That is closely followed by sweet almond, beet sugar, avocado, jojoba. Um, there is vegetable glycerin at the end of this and sunflower seed. And then of course, phenoxyethanol is the preservative that pretty much all of the brands in relation to this use, all the sisters, as I like to call them. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I have already shampooed. I use my main choice Cheers um, because that one is a good just like solid super cleansing but slightly moisturizing shampoo so that's where my hair is at so it's already nice and soft it's um definitely needs some extra moisture but it still feels good so this one is definitely nice and rich yeah very this one is very emollient. Do y'all see the sh Ooh, the shine. Okay, Curl Origin, okay. Okay, that went a really long way. Like, and my curls feel really good. The slip is great. I can already feel the moisture in my hair, which I definitely needed um, because I did make sure to get a really good wash in. Um, so I definitely need to go ahead and put all of that back in. The smell is nice. The slip is great. My hair is definitely responding to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up applying this. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So this is how much I use. Not bad at all. And remember, I did 
had some sitting in the cap, so I cleaned that out first and then dug in. This mask feels so good. It's definitely um, a little bit thicker in viscosity compared to the Moisture Rich Hair Mayo from the Plum Nectar and Agave collection. Um, very emollient, nice, thick, and rich. But when you put it in your hair, like I feel like as long as you have some water in your hair, you're gonna get good slip out of it. If you're putting this on like damp or dry, damn near dry hair, then this probably isn't going to have the slip that you're looking for. I suggest using some water with it because it's definitely like thick, concentrated, like it has substance to it. It's really, really nice. I can't wait to see how my hair feels with this. So I'm going to put my deep conditioning cap on and the directions do say to apply to freshly shampooed hair, which I did. Um, leave on for 15 minutes to one hour. Rinse for deeper, for deeper conditioning, use with mild heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit underneath my bonnet dryer for probably 25 to 30 minutes. I've been binge watching old episodes of Braxton Family Values. So um, hopefully I'll remember to get off and come back and do what I'm supposed to be doing. So um, I'll see you guys in a little bit and then we'll get into styling. Okay guys, I'm back and this is my hair with all of that good yummy deep conditioner rinsed out. And I must say, my hair feels pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So I really like this deep conditioner. I still feel like um, the Moisture Rich Hair Mayo from the Plum Agave Collection, I do still like it a little bit more. But this has my hair feeling so silky it's very silky extremely moisturized just has my hair feeling light and fluffy and bouncy soft moisturized defined curls so definitely a fan of that deep conditioner i'm gonna have to keep it in my rotation of course super moisturizing like pretty much all of my curl origin deep conditioners i feel like curl origin she sent it get it with the moisture so I'm a big fan of this. So let's go ahead. I'm going to part my hair and then we're going to move on to styling. Um, now I'm going to go in with the Honey and Hibiscus Leave-In Whipped Cream. This is supposed to impart hydration, detangle, and nourish curls. This decadent whip leave-in conditioner features lightweight emollients that penetrate hair strands. Infused with raw honey and hibiscus extract, it hydrates and softens curls, leaving them shiny and bouncy. And this does say it's for fine to medium, dry, damaged, uh, curly hair. And the first five ingredients are water, hibiscus extract, BTMS, CDR alcohol, and marshmallow root. All ingredients I love. This does also have grape seed, um, and sweet almond, and jojoba, which are all, like it says, light emollients. And there is also some raw honey in here. The only issue I have is that this, this top is faulty, so... It's supposed to pull up. It's supposed to pop up right here after you've twisted it, but there's no separation between them. So this pump just happens to be completely fused together. <laughs> I was sitting around playing with this underneath the dryer um, to see if I could figure out what was going on. And I discovered that, so. But that's not really the brand's fault. Like, <laughs> And I'm not gonna use too much because I usually find my curl origin leave-ins to be very spreadable, so I'm gonna start with that much. Yeah, this is definitely more um, emollient. Reminds me a lot of the leave-in conditioner from the Marula and Quinoa collection. Still lightweight, but definitely more emollient, which is a general theme that I find like between Curl Origin and She Sent It, I find Curl Origin to usually be a little bit more emollient. Something that I'm really noticing immediately from this collection is the shine.
bottle hasn't really settled, but I used about this much of it, which is pretty standard for me with Carl Origin leave-ins. So I didn't, you know, I tried to do my best not to over apply. It's a little harder for me if I'm just dumping it out of the bottle. It's really easy to kind of go ham because you don't have that control of the pump. But I think I did a pretty decent job. I don't think I over applied at all. Um, this feels so good. Like I can feel the oils on my hands. Um, it feels really good, but still lightweight, very penetrative, very softening. It feels really good. Like it's just, it feels soft, balanced, you know, all the things I like. So this is really, really nice too. And now we're going to go into the Honey and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Gelée for curl definition. And this is formulated with hibiscus extract, jojoba oil, and honey. This is long last and moisture on the side. You gonna see. <laughs> formulated for kinky, curly, and coily hair. This decadent hair gelée is infused with honey and hibiscus extract to instantly hydrate thirsty strands. It helps to form beautiful loops and coils, creating shine, adding moisture and curl definition. Curls will be hydrated, bouncy, and defined. And the first five ingredients on this baby are water, pectin, vegetable glycerin, meal honey, and hibiscus extract. There um, are also the addition of the, the sweet almond, beet sugar, and jojoba. Now, this one does have xanthan gum in here, um, which does differ from the one from the Plum Nectar and Agave. That one has a little bit of PVP in it. This one uses xanthan gum. And I'm a big fan of the texture. Definitely kind of has that snotty thing going on. Um, this definitely has more air whipped into it though. Like I see why it's called a gelée. It smells so good. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Apply to wet hair in sections, raking through curls with fingers. Allow to air dry or use a blow dryer with a diffuser. For a twist out, apply to each section, twist and allow to dry fully. Of course, my first time applying it, I don't really know how much is too much. This, mm, I'm gonna have to do a texture comparison because this feels a little snottier, but it also feels more whipped. Yeah, this is definitely stickier than the Plum Nectar. the hair very well yeah this is definitely snottier but it feels really good I like the way that this product is moving through my hair it has a lot of slip um more slip than its um sister brand product the plum nectar and agave curl perfection custard now y'all know I've been loving that I have been using the hell out of that stuff it's so good and this one feels there's definitely some similarities to it but i would say it's stickier um this feels more like like an uncle funky's daughter to me like the plum nectar and agave feels like it's trying to get on that train but it's not quite there you know what i mean this one feels closer to something like that This is how much of the product that I used. Not bad at all. Really just starting to dip into the inner workings of the jar. So I would say like for almost half my head, I was just pulling out of the top, which I think is really good. It just 
is a testament to how much slip it has. So let me show you guys the full view. So I will say my hands definitely feel kind of sticky after applying this. Um, stickier than they do when I use the Curl Perfection Styling Custard. So but it's something that I noticed. I definitely feel like the added definition is like instant. It feels really good. Even though initially applying it to my hair, it does kind of weigh my curls down. Like I do have some hang time. This piece is getting on my last nerve. Like she's, she's being such a brat. Like my hair is being such a big baby. Um, initially you do get some hang time, but it does curl up nice and tight. So there is that. Um, the feeling on the fingers is definitely different. I can kind of feel the gel kind of setting on my hands. So, um, but I still feel like my moisture is good. Like my curls are nice and shiny and happy and the fine. So I'm going to basically let this air dry because we need to go to the grocery store. So I'm just going to kind of clip it back until we leave the house. I will come back tomorrow with my final results and give you guys my final impressions on the Hibiscus Honey Collection. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back and these are my absolutely beautiful final results. So I do have some feelings about the products. So let's go ahead and get straight into it because I do not want to hold y'all too long. The More Moisture Please Deep Conditioner for Mega Moisture. So this is really good. I really like this. Um, it's very moisturizing but also kind of left my hair with this nice silky touch and immediately I could see the shine coming through in my hair and that was something that I really noticed throughout using this collection in its entirety is that I have gorgeous shine like the, the shine is not just the light and I feel like it does exactly what it says it's going to do it says it's formulated for dry kinky curly and coily hair and it's uh, a rich mask infused with generous amounts of honey to instantly hydrate thirsty strands. It deeply penetrates the hair shaft to restore lost moisture and elasticity to hair. Curls will be left soft, shiny, and hydrated. And that, like, those three things are literally what my hair felt like. This deep conditioner, when I took, when I took my plastic cap off, like, I really didn't rinse much out. Like, it sank into my strands so beautifully. Um, it kind of made my hair feel a little bit weighty too. Like I could feel just all the moisture and just the extra weight and just it was plump and soft and just yummy. Like I really enjoy this. But this is definitely a repurchase. This is a wonderful product. I didn't have to use a lot of it to get my desired result. Remember, I used a lot of what was in the cap before I even went into the rest of this. So I'm going to get probably about five more uses out of this. And it's... <laughs> Maybe more once I'm in the shower because y'all know I shampoo and deep condition and all that good stuff in the shower usually and I style out of the shower. So this is really nice. A great buy. And then the Honey and Hibiscus Leave-In Whipped Cream to detangle and hydrate. It's supposed to impart hydration, detangle and nourish. And I mean, it does all of that. Like this, this product does exactly what it says it's going to do. Um, this is definitely a little bit I would say a little bit more emollient than the marula and quinoa even though that one is really nice and creamy too this one is just like a little bitty baby up from that one um but i find this one to be on par with the other curl origin leave-in conditioners that i've used um do you have to buy it um i think that if you are going to use the styler in this collection i feel like for curl origin as well as its sister, she sent it. I think it's best to use the leave-ins that are created to go within that collection um, because I find for me and just for mixing purposes, 
<laughs> they put them together for a reason. So if you have intentions of getting the styler in this collection, I would say go ahead and purchase the leave-in because you can't go wrong with it. If you have no intentions of getting the styler, then it's not like a curl origin must have, but it is very, very good. You know, like I could, I could take this or the marula in quinoa and be completely satisfied, but it is a stellar, beautiful, creamy, um, super emollient but still very penetrative leave-in conditioner this is very very nice and i definitely suggest it if you are looking to purchase curl origin can't go wrong with it it's it's a good it's a good staple leave-in to have this is a nice one and then last but certainly not least the honey and hibiscus curl enhancing gelée for curl definition so y'all let's get into this wash and go because it is beautiful. Now the pieces where I did have some extra like frizz are still slightly frizzy. First thing that I will immediately note about this is that this has more of a cast than I expected. Um, more of a cast than the plum nectar and agave. Like when I touch my hair, I can I can hear it in the places that I didn't um fully scrunch and I didn't fully scrunch because I know we're going to get rain and so this is like the fullness that I have without completely scrunching all of the cast out of my hair. Now even though I don't see anything but I do see some flakes around in the atmosphere I can't really tell you I can't really tell you what the back of my head looks like because I really haven't gone out of my way to check. But um, I do see some flakes in the atmosphere. Now, with that being said, I kept putting more product on because these sections were getting on my nerves. And I do see like a couple of flakes <clears throat> in these sections, the places where I went back and added more. So I really didn't need to, like the places where I added more product, um, I totally didn't do the product justice. Like I should have just left it as it was. But I was just, y'all know how it be sometimes when your hair really getting on your nerves and you're like, okay, well, let me just add some more. And then it's still getting on your nerves and you're like, okay, well, let me add some more. And then you're like, okay, let me stop. Um, This could have been disastrous if I hadn't stopped where I was. I'm just gonna tell y'all now. I was really surprised by how strong of a hold this was for me. Now, remember that when I'm reviewing a collection, I'm reviewing in relation to what is already there. So if you're someone that uses like style factor to style your hair, you're probably not going to think this has a strong hold. But if you have used any other curl origin styler, then you know what I mean, right? So... This has a strong hold for the brand. Um, this does have xanthan gum eight on the ingredients list. And honestly, I wasn't really worried about it because there are so many um, oils in here. But the fact that this has xanthan gum does come through. And xanthan gum can be very difficult. It is an ingredient that can cause a lot of flaking in products. It's difficult to use for people that DIY. Like xanthan gum, like really be doing the most, okay? So I... He 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 my advice if you going to get this more water less product I told you now don't say I didn't tell you <laughs> this applied beautifully I love the texture of it um it definitely puts me in that like uncle funky's vibe it's very um snotty I would say even snottier than the um curl perfection styling custard um, a lot of you guys asked me to compare the two and I just will say this. I really like this. I like this enough to get another one. Um, just in case. But if I had to pick, I would pick my Curl Perfection Styling Custard because, um, it does not have xanthan gum in it. And so I don't have to be as careful. I don't feel like I have to baby this product. It's like, you know, just when you think you need more, don't, you know? But the Curl Perfection Styling Custard is more of a flexible hold. This one, like my curls are, like I have movement and I have bounce, especially in the places where I really scrunched my hair out. 
but it's not quite as flexible. The, the Curl Perfection Styling Custard is like an Herbal Essences commercial for your hair. Like you can just flip it and you just, just all, all the way around, just twirl for the girls, you know? Like it's that kind of custard. Like it, it gives you beautiful definition. It gives me a little bit of, um, a little bit of elongation. So it really aids in the volume of my hair. And my curls are just so movable and touchable. This one is going to be more of that like fixed hold, you know? Um, it's not as flexible as the Curl Perfection Styling Custer, but this is also a really beautiful formulation. I think if you are not of a heavy hand in nature, you're someone who is looking for something, uh, you know, just another really good, more natural gel to put into their routine. I think this is a really great one to have. Overall, another really good collection. Like, you guys already know, like, it's a rarity for me to find things from Curl Origin that I don't like. These are all really great products. The deep conditioner is absolutely going to be a repurchase. Um, I don't know if I would really need to repurchase the leave-in like that just because um, I don't really have to repurchase their leave-ins like that because I don't have to use a lot of the product, you know? Um, but I would definitely get another one of these um, curl enhancing gelays too. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the fam. I love all my folks. And of course, if you have been here rocking with me for a minute, Thank you. I love you. Good vibes, blessings, all that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.